しますから It's a good question, you know, because you gotta put some intentional thought process on it. It's a mindset. You know, we had a fumble and interception, and it's not like these guys are out here trying to make these mistakes, but, um, you know, they're out there trying to make plays and, you know, trying to run through tackles and things of that sort. Quarterbacks trying to make the right throws with timing, and, you know, there's a lot that goes into that, you know, but uh, you just have to, it's a mindset. You just gotta intentionally think about that. And after this game, you needed the film to see if the effort was there. Did you feel it was? The effort was there. You know, just too many MAs and too many misfits on defense. And, you know, our first and second down efficiency on offense is, is continuing to struggle. We're, you know, having to convert, you know, tough third down situations, tough fourth down situations, which that's not a high percentage, but, you you know, you, you don't want to uh, have to live that way. And that's that's kind of how, we, how we're built right now. You guys came out of the game really banged up. How are you guys doing now, holding up a couple days later? Banged up. Uh, with Alan Hank specifically, anything you know? Like no, he's done for the year. Is the line good to go? Day to day. UTS or UTSA also had some turnovers over the last four games. What's your plan on defense trying to win the tournament down this week? Well, I mean. <laughs> You know, we just got to really focus in on eliminating some MAs and, you know, playing better on, on defense. And if we can get ourselves in the right spots at the right time, maybe we'll have more opportunities for those those type of things that happen for us our way. You know, but um, not if you're making MAs, not if you're not executing the way we're capable of, you know, those won't become opportunities, you know, opportunities for us. So we, we really need to lock in on being where we need to be and playing aggressive football. And, we got the guys back there that are capable of doing that. We just got to do it. When you have a performance like that in kind of a you know, crossroads game, I mean, do you do you question your process? Do you go back and reevaluate everything and see if you know, feel like check if you're doing things the right way? Yeah, win or win or lose, you always have to constantly do that. You know, uh, you know, just got to make sure that our players are understanding what we're asking them to do, and you know, you know, we sit there and talk about missed assignments. That's not all on the player. You know, that's that's on. It's a 50-50 deal, you know, so we have to make sure that we're putting our players in the proper positions to make plays and they fully understand uh, what we're asking them to do within the play and it's the, it's the what and the why. And uh, that's kind of where we're struggling now. You get younger, you know, you got some young guys um, that are going to have to fill in some spots and, you know, so we'll see how that, that goes for them. But we definitely have to change the process by default anyway with new bodies that we're going to have to play. Coach, you guys have yet to win a road game in your tenure. What do you think is so difficult in general just going on the road? Uh, you know, it's just hard to win, period. <laughs> I mean, you know, on the road or at home. And, you know, we haven't done a whole lot of that, um, period, right now. You know, but, uh, you know, it changes the routine a little bit. You know, um, I really just don't think that that is something that's a stigma on this football team. We just got to play better all around, you know, I think in time. You know, um, those will come, you know, but um, it does change routine. I, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, give you something here. Um, you know, sleeping in a different bed, uh, I don't know. I, again, I don't feel that to be an issue with our players. I had an extra two days here. How did you use that extra time? Uh, well, we just had to get a jump start on UTSA. And the players took a day off or two, you know, and, um, and we're back in on Monday, getting back after it. So try to get some guys back and to the best of our ability, give them a, a little bit of chance to rest. You guys, yeah. Was there anything that you guys do differently with them having the bye week so they have an extra whole week to prepare for you guys? No, uh, no. You know, we, we we have what we have, right? We play on Thursday. You had to give them off on Friday, and you know, Saturday. You know, uh, they came in here and and um, got some treatment, things of that sort. They had off Sunday, and we're back to work on Monday, pretty much trying to stay on the same routine. Coaches have to grind it out a little bit, you know, from game prep standpoint, but yeah, we had to get the players some rest. Uh, how good was it to see, you know, DMR and Jordan were very much a part of the game script and did a really good job on Thursday. Do you like getting the tight ends to play a lot? Yeah, yeah, it was good to see those guys, and particularly J.O., you know, he's been a little quiet this year. You know, by default, right, we had to play some 12 personnel. We had 
some guys beat up that receiver, so 11 personnel was was tough for us to get into and execute at a high level. So walking into that game, 12 was going to be the main package, and it was good to see those guys step up and make the plays that we know they're capable of making. You mentioned the guys banged up, and Bob Anderson, Dante Wright, but what's their status? They're banged up. They're banged up. It's day to day. Yeah. Questionable for, for Saturday. Day to day. How about you, Bobby? Day to day. Can you tell us a little bit about how how Ian's progressing? Is that six to eight weeks that was he uh, said initially? You no, know, I, I don't anticipate him playing this week. The secondary played pretty well. <clears throat> excuse me, this year. Um, Saturday, Thursday, excuse me, they kind of got picked apart a little bit. After watching the film, like, did you like what can you say about their performance? Uh, you know, again, it goes back to that first question of. You know, where's the issues? I mean, they, they had some coverage breakdowns from time to time. I don't think they played awful. You know, they missed some tackles on the quarterback that ended up being explosive. We got, you know, our linebacker caught on a deep explosive. You know, that was a pretty bad matchup there. But, um, you know, I mean, th those guys, I mean, you had McMurray on the sideline. That was an uncharacteristic play, you know, that, that took place on him. You know, you just kind of assume that the guy was out of bounds when he caught the ball, and you never assume. I mean, he never does that, but he did, you know. But um, you know, that's the strength of our defense right now. We don't we don't give up on a couple of bad plays. We just try to continue to make them better and keep their confidence level high. Monday, was Hay, did he pass the threshold to apply for a medical? I guess it was his fifth game, right? So, uh, it's a good question. Um, we have to look into that. Maybe, okay. maybe. Is he long term prognosis? He can be back. He'll be back next year. Yeah. Oh, I'm Phil Weiss, impressed you about UTSA. Uh, I'll tell you what, they've uh, addressed a lot of issues. That whole offensive line is, you know, they went to the junior colleges and got a bunch of big guys. Um, a lot of size, uh, a lot of size on defense. Number one on defense is the real deal. I, I mean, he's a jack linebacker in their, in their three down front. He's a defensive end, rush defensive end, or four down front. Let me tell you, that kid's special. He is special. Um, he could play anywhere in the country. Um, so I think size and speed, and, and they're a very, very physical football team. They're as fast as anybody we play, and they're as physical as anybody we play. I mean, uh, maybe even more physical in some respects. You know, defensive line is the real deal. The real deal. You know, so we got a, a real opponent coming in here. What's, what's your impression of where you are with the running game at this point? It's uh, just not good enough. It's just not good enough. You know, it's just, you know, we just got to get better in that respect. And, you know, uh, we're just young up front. Yeah, you know, I hate to give you answers to questions like that because it sounds like excuses. But, you know, we're, we're very young in spots. And, you know, um, unlike UTSA, who's went to the junior colleges, we went to high school and got our kids. You know what I mean? So they're, they're having to play, you know, which that will pay off. You know, that, that's the positive, is our young guys are going to play, and that that will pay off in the long term. You know, but um, they're still operating with high school strength and things of that sort, hadn't been in the weight room. And, you know, but they're, they're, they're good effort guys, and, you know, we'll, we'll try to address it. We'll try to do some things that are different. You know, we'll try to continue to support the throw game with the run a little bit, or vice versa, you know, set up the pass to, to help set up the run. We'll, we'll figure it out. You guys like Watson and Pro, I mean, how do you feel like they've been developing? I'm sorry. Watson and Pruitt, like on the offensive line. Yeah, they got a ways to go. Yeah. They got a ways to go. I mean, they're in the fight. You know, here, here's the thing. I know they care. You know, I mean, that was, that was a – Luke took it very personal at the end of that game. And, you know, a little emotional in the spots there uh, for him. You know, he wants to win. He wants to do better. You know, but, again, we're not giving up on those guys. Those, those guys are all we got right now. You know, so. Because of your background in, the, in a running game, is it, is it especially – Troubling for you that you haven't been able to kind of get it going, even though you understand the youth and all that. Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody thinks I'm a running back coach and run, run, run. You know, I want to win, 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 and you got to figure out what your personnel is, and you got to play into your personnel. You know, um, it's not just the run game. You know, we got to get all things clicking on all cylinders, which we haven't been able to do on a consistent basis. Trying to get one of the <clears throat> excuse me, better quarterbacks in the conference. What challenges does he present to the defense? Uh, he can he can throw it to some guys with some speed, and 
you know, he's well protected most of the time. And when he puts it down, he uses his leg. He's probably the fastest quarterback we faced. You know, um, he can really roll. You know, he is a dual threat for real. And uh, he can make you miss in space. He's tough on contact. You know, he brings a lot of problems to the, to the table. Is he kind of similar to the way that the Tulsa quarterback brought to you last week? Yeah. Yeah, but this this guy's probably a step faster, a little bit more elusive. Not no, no disrespect to Tulsa. This guy's a real deal. Have you liked your I guess the, the front four getting pressure themselves? Like it seems like last against Tulsa got a couple sacks, but overall, like how are you feeling about just getting pressure themselves instead of moving the blitz? Yeah, that'd be better. You know, um, there's other ways to, to apply some pressure up front. You know, um, you know, again we've been you know beat up, right? And uh, We've had some young guys. <clears throat> We'd like to see a lot more come out of our interior in some respects. Um, but um, no, we, we can do better in that, in that area. We just gotta find creative ways to, if we can't get it from the deep, defense in line, we gotta get it from the secondary. We gotta get it from the linebackers, stuff like that. How do you feel EJ's played this year? He's been plugging, you know, all of us can play better. All of us can coach better, you know, um, you know, I just know he's, it matters to him and he's trying to do the best that he can every single day. So, you know, um, does he bring his best game to every single game? No, you know, and he'll probably tell you that too, but is, is there a lack of will there? Absolutely not, you know, so uh, just try to keep him confident. And, you know, he's had a mixed bag of receivers out there from time to time and that, that does disrupt the camaraderie, you know, in the throw game for sure. But um, for the most part, I think they're, you know, he's made the right decision more than the bad decision you know, to go with the football. What unit do you think has to step up most this week? The whole Temple football team. <laughs> Every single unit has got to step up against this team. Right, we good? Yeah. yeah. Thanks.